the best creative advice I've ever received is act on your highest passion every moment that you can to the best of your ability with absolutely zero expectation for the outcome. Hey creators, Eamon here, and this is where I help you master your creative mindset. Today, we're talking about this piece of advice and how it's changed my mind and what it actually means. Because like as a creative, it's often hard to have direction, find direction, stay consistent. You know, I find a lot of creative people, especially myself, you know, you have a million different creative things that you're doing. And often I'll have one project and I'll work like crazy on that project for months, if not a year. And then all of a sudden I'm working like crazy on another project for months. Maybe there's some ADHD, ADHD in there. I don't know. But, you know, that's just also part of the mind of being a creative, you know, and, it, you know, it's a blessing and a curse. It's like, I say that all the time, <laughs> but it's really hard to stay on track and to have direction. And I've found this statement to be the clear answer to all of my problems as a creative, you know? So let's unpack it. Act on your highest passion every moment that you can to the best of your ability um, with absolutely zero expectations for the outcome. It's just, it's so clear because it's like, all right, cool. Whenever you're lacking direction, you just go, cool. What do, what do I do right now? This is, this has worked so well for me over the last few months. It's like, all right, well, I want to act on my highest passion every moment that I can. Okay. I have some free time right now. And instead of just mindlessly watching YouTube for hours or scrolling on TikTok or whatever it is that you end up doing, I'm going to act on my highest passion right now. All right. And so what is that? Well, obviously you have that identified, you know, and if you pretend that you don't, then you're hiding from something, you know? And so whether it's music production or, you know, and this is the other thing is creativity isn't just creating something, you know, having deep conversations, going out in nature, like all of these things lead back to creativity as we've discussed on the channel before. And so if you're acting on your highest passion every moment that you can, and you feel a creative block, you know, that's a whole other video in terms of like, can you get past that creative block to make this song or to make this video or, you know, whatever it is to paint this painting, you know, but is there other things that can allow you to, it's like a substitute for acting on your highest passion, right? I want to make music right now, but I'm experiencing these creative blocks. I've run through my checklist of, can I get through those creative blocks? If I can't, then I'll do something else that will, that is a substitute for that creative act, such as having a deep conversation, going out in nature, going to the gym, doing anything. Meditating, for example, is a, you know, sub genre of acting on your highest passion every moment that you can, you know? So it's not as clear and obvious in terms of like, it has to be that thing. Cause if your highest passion every moment that you can is feeding the poor and you're fresh out of food, you know, it's like you physically can't do that in that moment. So there are going to be limitations, but you got to think outside the box within that statement. What can I do that is like a you know, as I said, subgenre, for lack of a better term, that will actually lead to that thing, you know? And so the next part of the statement is to the best of your ability, right? And again, that just makes sense as well in terms of like, cool, I want to make music. I can't right now, or I've decided I'm going to go on a hike, but I'm pretty low energy. I've already gone to the gym this morning, whatever it is, you know, I'm not going to bring any headphones or AirPods so that I can take in nature, do it in a meditative state, and that will be the best of my ability. It's like, you know, I'm really tired right now. I'm just going to do the walk across the road. That is only two kilometers. I'm going to take it slow. I'm going to take in nature. I'm going to be really attentive, you know, identifying the different things that you can to ensure that it is to the best of your ability within that moment, within your limitations or what you're able to do, you know? Um, and again, so it's like, you know, often I'm like, cool, I want to make music because that's like one of my highest passions that I've identified. I'm going to do it to the best of my ability. So it's like, cool, what I'm going to do, I'm going to set a timer and I'm going to make music for an hour. And it's like, I'm not really coming up with ideas. That's cool. I'm just going to throw samples into the thing. That's cool. All right. Haven't really come up with anything productive or I've come up with a cool loop. And like, rather than being hard on myself and being like, push harder, it's like, that's a really good loop for now. I'm going to review the other music that I have now and write a list of what I can do to actually improve those other pieces of music or projects the next session that I go into. Do you see what I'm getting at? It's kind of like, it's all within the same realm, you know? And then that, that's, that could be the best of my ability in that particular session, you know? And so again, this will change for you and there's going to be so variation, so many variations and, um, and nuance to this in terms of like what you're able to do on that day, you know? 
and with absolutely zero expectation for the outcome. And this is, this is the main key of this statement is that a lot of the time it's like, I have a goal creatively or in creative business. And that goal might be driven by money or ego or fame or just some outcome, right? I want to get streams on Spotify. I want to get views on YouTube, whatever it is. All right. And if you can eliminate that completely, I have found anyway, that's really where the magic is. Because that brings it back to why you're actually doing this, you know? And the reason you are doing this is because this is your highest passion and you're, all you're doing is giving it your best shot, you know? And that is everything. That's where the magic ends. Everything else that happens after that is a bonus. It's the sprinkle on top, you know? It's the, the, uh, the chocolate on top of the cupcake, whatever. You know, even the cupcakes, they kind of, you kind of need chocolate for cupcakes because they're just kind of fairy. That was a bad example. Let's move on. Okay. I'll find better analogies. All right. Just subscribe and you'll see, I'm going to get better at analogies. So with absolutely zero expectation for what the outcome should be, that is, that's honestly, as I said, that's where the magic is in this statement. Because so often you, you apply or I apply pressures to myself because I'm like, why am I doing this? Oh, well, it's like, I'm making a piece of music because like, I've got to have this many streams on Spotify and that's going to lead me to like play shows and make money from my music. And I've got to do this and this and this and this and this. And it's just like all the way down. And all of a sudden you've got this insane amount of pressure on you for why you're doing something. And it's like, bruh, like you're doing it for the wrong reasons, you know? So if you're doing it because it is your highest passion, you know, and you're just giving it your best crack, I'm not kind of repeating myself, but it's hard to, to really take this message in. I mean, I, I had to consume it a few times before it really resonated with me. And now I've written it down in my, in my, you know, dream life notion board. That's how important it is. It's one of my top life KPIs, you know? And if you're not, if you didn't understand what I just said in the last 30 seconds, stay subscribed because I've got a lot of videos coming out on that in the future, you know, exactly how to organize your life, your creative life for the maximum success, or at least maximum perceived, you know, enjoyment of your creative existence, you know? But if you're acting with absolutely zero expectation for what the outcome should be and you're acting on your highest passion every moment that you can to the best of your ability that i believe is where the magic is because you just you're just doing it from pure joy it's just fun like this there's, there's only value in it and with the no expectations it takes away all the pressures and just makes you focus on the thing itself which again you're existing and the present moment is all that exists and you're going to die. And, you know, the past and the future doesn't matter. Like all that matters is what you're experiencing at this moment. And if in this moment you are making music, making video, being creative to the best of your ability, that is all of the value that you can receive from that thing. And if you're doing it in such a way that you're so present, yeah, it's just like that, that is the most creative advice that I have ever received. So I would love to know what you think of this statement and, you know, if you have ever received other creative advice that is more valuable, less valuable, or has resonated with you more as well, because I'm always chasing more creative advice, you know, uh, but this one really resonated with me and hopefully it has resonated with you. See you in the next episode.